Hey guys, I'm Justin Zarr with bowhunting.com. Welcome to another Bowhunt 101 video. Today we are talking about how much draw weight you need to go bow hunting. All right, the question of how much draw weight do you need to go bow hunting is a bit of a loaded question because there is no right answer other than you need at least the minimum amount required by the state or province that you are hunting in. A lot of states will have minimum draw weights for bow hunters. They might be between 30 and 40 pounds. Uh, some states don't even have minimums anymore. When I started bow hunting here in Illinois, way back in the day, uh, it was a minimum draw weight of 40 pounds is what I needed to go bow hunting. Now, most adult male bow hunters are gonna be shooting somewhere between 60 and 70 pounds, which is more than adequate to kill any big game animal in North America. If you have the capability of shooting more draw weight than that, by all means, go for it. Uh, more draw weight typically means more speed, more power, better penetration, and in bow hunting, those are all good things. However, don't overdo it. I see a lot of guys out there that are trying to shoot 70, 75, 80 pounds because they think it I don't know, makes them more manly for some reason, and all they're doing is hurting themselves. So there's a couple different ways that you can tell if you're shooting too much draw weight. The number one thing is you should be able to draw your bow back and shoot it accurately at least 30 times in a row without getting tired. If you can't do that, you're shooting too much draw weight. Number two, you should be able to draw your bow back and hold it at full draw for at least one minute without letting down and without shaking uncontrollably. And the reason that we say that is in a bow hunting situation, there's plenty of times you're gonna draw your bow back because you're getting ready to shoot an animal. That animal may turn the wrong way, it may step behind a tree, it may look at you and you have to freeze at full draw and you can't let down, right? If you're holding too much draw weight, you're gonna be forced to let down, potentially spook that animal. So you wanna be able to draw your bow back, hold it comfortably for at least one minute. If you can't do that, you're shooting too much draw weight. The last thing to look for, and this one's my favorite, it's the infamous sky draw. When you go to draw your bow back, you should be able to hold your bow out, grab the string, and pull it straight back like this and shoot it, right? That's perfect. Now, if you're shooting too much draw weight, and I'm sure we've all seen these guys at the range before, they start with their bow way up here, and they draw it back, and they come down like this, or they're struggling to try to get this bow back, and then shoot it, right? If you're a sky drawer, you're probably shooting too much draw weight and you need to back it down. In my opinion, most people need to worry less about how much weight they're pulling back and more about making sure their bow is tuned and that they're accurate in shooting it because when it comes to bow hunting, accuracy kills, not necessarily speed generated by how much weight you're pulling back. So 60 to 70 pounds is more than adequate for any big game animal in North America. And if you can't shoot that much draw weight, if you're younger, if you're a shorter framed or shorter stature person, um, or you have shoulder issues, I know uh, unfortunately a lot of my friends and people that I uh, hunt with are getting a little bit older, we're starting to have some shoulder issues, under 60 pounds is completely fine too. I killed my first white-tailed deer 25 years ago with a bow that shot 40 pounds and a super slow arrow. And I'll tell you what, that arrow zipped right through that animal and it was dead in 50 yards. So you don't need to pull a lot of weight in order to kill a deer. Now, if you're gonna be going after bigger game, elk, moose, you're going on a Cape Buffalo hunt somewhere, yeah, draw weight is certainly gonna, gonna matter for you and you're gonna wanna crank that up a little bit. But even elk hunting, you know, 60, 65 pounds, provided you've got a good heavy arrow and a solid fixed blade broadhead is more than adequate. So again, worry a little bit less about how much weight you're drawing and more about being accurate. Now, when it comes to draw weight, most bows are gonna be adjustable in 10 pound increments. So this bow here is a Matthews VXR. It's adjustable, recommended to be adjustable from 60 to 70 pounds. So most bows you're gonna find are 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 10 pound adjustment increments. This particular bow has what's called switch weight technology. So I can actually replace a module on this cam and I can change the peak draw weight of this bow. This is an exclusive technology to Matthews. For most bows out there, if you wanted to change the peak draw weight of the bow, you'd have to change the limbs itself, which is a pretty big undertaking. So before you buy a bow, make sure that it's gonna be the right draw weight for you. Uh, how do you determine what your draw weight is? There's a couple different ways to do it. Um, the, one of the easiest ways is just a standard scale like this. This is an HME digital scale. You can hang it up, hook your string loop onto this, pull it down and it'll show you what your peak draw weight is here. 
There's also some specialty tools out there, like this one from Easton, that are made to hook right into your loop, and then you actually draw the bow back, and it'll tell you both your peak draw weight as well as your holding weight. What your holding weight is, it's gonna be your peak draw weight minus the let off. So let off, you guys all know what this is. When you shoot a compound bow, you pull it back, it gets harder, 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 and then all of a sudden you get over that hump and it drops back and you're at full draw. That's what's called the let off. Most bows are gonna be somewhere between 75 and 80% let off these days, or maybe even 85%. Uh, the best way to think of that, using round numbers, if you're drawing uh, 100 pounds of draw weight and you have an 80% let off, you will be holding 20 pounds of weight when you're at full draw. That's what that means. Uh, and that's all about draw weight. Um, I'm sure you guys are gonna have comments or questions because this is a very hotly debated topic out there. So let us know what you think about how much draw weight you need to go bow hunting. Uh, as always, we appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. A lot of great archery and bow hunting content coming your way this fall. Uh, stay safe out there and we'll see you next time.